Hello, hello, hello. Anybody out there? Anybody see me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? TikTok's always a little slow, so if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and skip forward like two minutes. We're probably not going to do anything for a little bit. I'm just going to tidy up my desk while I uh, wait for more people to come in here. Hey, number one fan. They must send you notifications right away. That must be like, hey, Mr. Rush. Corner and anchor's on. Let's go. How's everybody doing today? Everybody having a good day? We've got two coin rings to make on this live. We've got a 2020 Bats quarter and a 1998 quarter. We're going to be making both of those into coin rings. Uh, if you want to check out some of the stuff I make or, you know, want to get yourself a coin ring made by me, there is a link on my profile. You can also just go to coinringmaker.com. And if you take a screenshot of this card right now, you'll have a coupon code for 10% off. Coupon code is welcome. If anybody has any questions while I'm working, feel free to put them in the comments. But I'm just going to go ahead and get cracking on these rings. Because I know that's what you guys are here to see. So, which one should we do first? Any votes? Got a 1998 and a 2020 Bats quarter. What do y'all want to see? Put your votes in the comments. I'm good either way on these two. Hey, uh. 2022. All right. That one's going to be easier. It's a little bit smaller. So they want a center punch keychain as well. I'm doing good. I'm having a good day. How about yourself? Oh, thank you for the ice cream. I do appreciate it. So TikTok has this new thing here. Uh, there's like a gold star up by my username. If you want to subscribe, click on that. It's like $5.99 a month, and it really helps my, uh, my channel or account or whatever you want to call it on here. Helps me get new tools and stuff. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Just when I go from a nap. Ooh, that sounds nice. Love your work. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. We're going to get cracking on this and just punch a hole right in this quarter. This is a half-inch punch for anyone who, who's curious. It's my favorite punch size. And this one has a really nice center punch so we're going to be making that into a keychain here in a little bit uh, what am i doing i'm making coins into rings check out the username it's uh it's pretty self-explanatory so we've got a little bit left over from yesterday in my uh, metal bowl here so this is 90 percent silver so we're gonna put that away fyp that's what's up i'm freezing some on wi-fi I don't know, our town's internet has been real wonky for a while. Not sure what's up. Wait and see that one dude since he said it's so easy to do. Yeah. I don't know, that guy and the guy who was like, it's illegal and I'm going to quote the law but leave out words of it. Yeah, they, uh, they've both been real quiet. I don't know, I don't know. They were so determined to let me know that this is so easy and it's illegal. Um, tell me where I go and I'm able to place an order with you. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, just take a screenshot of this card right here. My main website is coinringmaker.com. That's kind of a blog website. Uh, if you want to go straight to the store, it's buycoinrings.com. There is also a link on my profile. And uh, if you take a screenshot of this, you'll get a coupon code that's welcome, and it'll save you 10% off anything you want to get for pretty much ever. It's a pretty good coupon code, so go ahead and take a picture of that. 
And uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. So there is our quarter with a nice half inch hole punch dried in it. But this edge right here is a little sharp, a little rough. So we're going to take a deburring tool and clean that up. Nice. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, man. Thank you all for tapping the screen. We're almost at 800 likes on this live. We got 757 from what I'm seeing. I usually say uh, tap the screen a whole bunch during this part because it's slow and boring. So if you're down for that, you can you can tap it up. Come on, W. No, this one's not a W. I was looking at some of my Ws earlier. I have more than I remember. I've got like 10 of them. I was like, holy cow. But I started looking right when they came out. So they were a little easier to find back then. There we go. I haven't, I haven't searched for quarters in a while. Woo! Nice. I'm a little jealous. So I got that nice and cleaned up. And we'll double check that mint mark. Yep, that's a big old D. Uh... How are you making a ring? So the first thing we've got to do is punch a hole in it. We already did that. Oh, are you making a ring? I can't read. Yeah, we're making this uh, quarter into a ring. So we're going to go ahead and start folding it now. Because this one's just a size 9. So I shouldn't have to kneel it. Defacing government property. I'm making jewelry for, for awesome people. That's that's how I look at it. Making awesome jewelry for awesome people. No, uh, as long as you're not like counterfeiting or committing fraud when you alter currency, it's it's not against the law. There are different rules for like paper currency, don't get me wrong there. But as far as coins are concerned, uh, there's like penny smashing machines that have been around for decades uh, that are in like museums and you know, like Sea World and stuff like that. I think they even have one at the the JFK Museum. Like they're they're all over the place. <laughs> every day, every day I answer this question. No, it's all good. You're good. Thanks for asking. I have a veritable smash penny collection, and it's one of my favorite things to do at attractions. Uh, actually, that's that's a really interesting um, kind of sub-collector group, like the people who collect smashed pennies, because um, it's it's not technically like coin collecting, right? It's it's a in a in its whole whole different category, and they've been making them for so long. They have like books of like. Uh, Penny Smash designs over the years. It's pretty cool. Answer and answer and answer. Educate me. That's what we're doing. So we folded this a couple times. And now I'm just going to sand this cut edge right here. See if we can get that into focus. It's a little rough. And it's not the best sound. So I'm just going to sand it over here. If you'd like to learn more about the laws around making coins into jewelry, you can visit the website linked on my profile, and there's a button pretty close to the top of the page uh, that links to a blog post that was co-written um, by a lawyer. So, like, I went out and got a lawyer, we both dove into the law and broke it down and in a very easy-to-understand way. Uh, it's, it's about a five-minute read, so if you're interested in checking that out and learning a little bit more, there is a blog post on the website all about it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh it's it's pretty funny. Now we're just gonna stretch this one out a little bit.
it's going to be a size 9, so we'll get it up to maybe size 10 or 11, and then start shaping it. Get my handy dandy ring sizer here. Yep, that's right out of 10. That's good. Hop back over here. What's been my favorite coin to work with? Um, I used to really, really like... Well, I started with quarters, so quarters are, like, my favorite. I didn't mess with anything but quarters for the first year. And then I slowly worked up to, like, half dollars and, uh, like, peace dollars and Morgan dollars. And I liked Morgan dollars for a long time. Like, the design on Morgan dollars is just beautiful. Heads out, tails out. It makes a really nice ring. But more recently, I've started working with fine silver, and it's so nice to work with, like, as a metal. It's so agreeable, and I can I can shape it and, and fold it and bend it so much easier than the other two types of metal I work with. So pretty much anything that's fine silver is, like, my favorite right now. It's also very shiny and reflective. I, I really, really like it. So pretty much anything that's fine silver, I, I like making the most really big fine silver rings like one ounce fine silver it's it's my favorite and they're so cool too they're so big they have so much detail and then i go back to working on like a, a peace dollar and it's <laughs> it's a hundred year old tough old coin man it takes some takes some elbow grease to get those things to fold after you've been working on fine silver it's just a lot softer and more agreeable. So we're trying to get this down to a size 9. Looks like I stretched it just a little bit over. So I'm using two different tools right now. This is called a ring stretcher reducer. And this is called a one-ton arbor press. Oh, thanks for the mics, man. I appreciate it. So I got a, a brand new feature today. I know I'm always bragging about new features I did here on TikTok. But if you go to my profile, there's a new button uh, that says tips. So I can actually receive like cash tips on TikTok now. And they don't take any of it, right? If you send me a gift, they get like 50%. And if you subscribe using this gold star up here, they get like 50%. But if you send me tips through that button, I pretty much get 100% minus processing fees, which is pretty cool. I think it's pretty neat. So I don't know. I, <laughs> I just want to talk about it. So I switched my account from a business account to a personal account. So I was having a lot of problems with some of the business account features, and it just wasn't really worth all the work I was putting into it, uh, because they kept, like, rejecting my stuff, and, like, you have to have products approved to link them to videos, so I would link my approved products, and they would be like, you're linking out to an unapproved um, platform? And it just, it blows my mind because there's so many hoops I had to jump through to get them where I could link to them. And then they would just be like, oh, this is unapproved. Sorry. And there's no way to dispute it either. And I've, <laughs> I've talked to support about it and they're just like, sorry, post the video again. That's what they tell me. Just do it again. No big deal. Like, even though that one, the one that's live right now is, is the one that's blowing up. Like, that, Sorry. So I just switched to a personal account. I, I had enough with the business account. But now I can uh, I can receive tips, which is pretty cool. I'm I'm kind of stoked about it. And I can use better music now. But I'm gonna have to be more careful about uh, promoting. Like I can't directly advertise with like copyrighted music but I can be kind of clever about it and just kind of 
show process videos and not really link out to anything. We're holding videos hostage for 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot. So there we go. That's one down. Sorry to go down that TikTok rabbit hole. We'll get back to working on rings here. We got a size 9, 2020. I really want to get started in my woodworking niche, but I got to get a spot set up. Honestly, I'm working out of my bedroom, dude. Like, I just carved out like eight square feet in my bedroom and just made this bench over here. Uh, will you do bulk orders like people at work are watching like 20 here i mean i could yeah like if you order maybe like like 10 or more or something i could work out a deal and get time away from my adult job hey i still have one of those too i carve out like at least an hour a day to do this and what's great about tiktok is it doesn't really matter when that hour is right because there's always people on here watching so I, I don't have like a set schedule of when I get on and make rings, but I try and do it a little bit every day. So we're gonna get started on this second ring here. We got 2,800 likes on this live. Now, um, yeah, you said you've got like 20 people. Uh, there might be like a time delay added to that order because I'll need to get more inventory for those rings. Does that make sense? So, uh, you know, reach out to me. Let me know what they're wanting to get. I'd be happy to make stuff for them. There's there's lots of cool stuff on the website if they want to check it out. Um, if they want to order individually, they can use the coupon code WELCOME. That'll save them 10%. But if you want to do like a bulk order, we can work that out uh, through chat later on. Whatever's easiest. This one right here is going to be a big boy. It's going to be a size 12. Cracks me up. Mr. Rush is always watching my lives at work. Now he's got all his other employees watching too. <laughs> Y'all get back to work. <laughs> Quarter, nice half inch punch in there. Rough edge. We're going to clean that up with a deburring tool. And again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you want to share the live, I'm not going to stop you. and smooth in there. Yeah. There we go. That looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and anneal this one because it's going to be much larger than that size 9. It's going to be size 12. Start folding it. I think TikTok heard me talking about it and stopped sending people in here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna talk about TikTok some more. I've noticed some changes lately here on TikTok. They moved the favorite button onto the page, like right here now. And you know what? 
I like it. I think that's a good move. But I also noticed that they took away the little at thing on your username on your videos. Now it just says your username. It doesn't say at your username. And that kind of threw me off. I was like, hey, that's kind of weird. But I mean, it's not, it's not a bad change. That was just unexpected. It's like, who, who was complaining about the at symbol? Who had enough pull to just to remove the at symbol? I don't know. But I like that the favorite button is on the page now. Anybody else got that? Y'all seen that? I think that's pretty handy. Definitely gonna increase the amount of times people use that. Go. Coming along very nicely. Now we're just going to sand that cut edge. And this is just like a nail file block. Pretty handy. Nice and shiny. Now I'm going to stretch this as far as I can before I start to feel the metal work harden. And if it starts to work harden before it gets to the size I want, we will re it. Let's see how it goes. You should be able to get it to like size 11. like a ten and a half. We'll go and kneel it again. Fly over here. Man, when I first got this uh, like subscription thing up here, this star by my username, I accidentally turned on a subscriber chat only. So nobody could comment except for Mr. Rush. And I had no idea. So I'm glad I found that out and fixed it. So these lives will be way quieter. <laughs> Don't fall over. to fall over, phone. Come on now. My phone gets jealous of my ring structure. I don't know if you guys can tell. Mike's having all the attention. It's almost to a size 13. I'm going to stretch it just a little bit more. The reason I stretch uh, one size over like my target size is the ring stretcher gives it kind of this tilted, like it won't rest flat, right? You see that? It's wider on this side than it is on that side. So we're going to go ahead and make that wider side a little smaller and it goes down to our target size and that way the ring will be nice and squared up and flat. Straight walled. Get up close and personal here for you guys. Twenty-eight 
12 and a half. Twelve and a quarter. Twelve and a quarter. Ha <laughs> ha. Very close to the correct size. So very close. It's like right on the edge of the line, just walking back and forth between a quarter over and a quarter under. There we go. Size 12, perfect. There is our coin ring so far. Now you can see it should, should be much more even. Yeah, it's not like lopsided anymore. So now we're going to hit this with some steel wool, clean it up a little bit. And uh, again, if anybody wants to get a coin ring, take a screenshot of this. It'll have my website and a 10% off coupon code on there. Now we're just going to rub this fire scale off of here. I've tried a bunch of different stuff to get this fire scale off of coin rings, right? And I've just started trying this, this mother's automotive polish. And it worked really good on the first one I tried. But I'd forgotten I had rubbed it with steel wool first. I tried a second one where I hadn't rubbed the steel wool. And it didn't work as well. I slept on it and I was like, what's up? So we're going to use steel wool on this one first, and then use the mothers, and it should look fantastic. So we're just going to get whatever really hard, like the majority of this fire scale off, and that mothers is going to eat everything else, make it super shiny. Well, thank you guys for watching, we're at 3,000 likes on this live if anybody has any questions feel free to put them in the chat almost done with this one Dab will do you. You ain't got to use a whole lot of this stuff. It's pretty effective. And then what I've been doing is just trying to coat the ring. Not, not real rough, not a lot of elbow grease. Just get it all over the inside and out of it. Just on as much surface area of the ring as I can and just kind of let it let it sit on there for a little bit and then i'll go back and rub it in a second i'll be right back
TikTok says I should encourage you to share the live. So share the live if you want. I don't know. And then we just kind of rub this off. You can see it's kind of all over it. And as we rub it off, the rag should turn nice and black. And the ring should turn nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Nice and black. Those are good results. I like it. And it's really cleaning up whatever I missed from earlier. Without using a bunch of elbow grease or machinery or anything. Look at all that. So I, I like this polish. It's pretty cool. It does get my fingers a little dirty. But it sure makes these rings look nice. Still getting quite a bit of black stuff off of there. That's good. That's good. When I used this on a 90% silver quarter, it turned like green. I don't know if there's any green left on here. Yeah, it turned like this yellowish green. That kind of freaked me out. So I might not use it on silver, but it definitely works very well at removing the, the stubborn fire scale from copper clad coins. Like, look at that. That looks so nice. I'll just grab a final polishing cloth, rub off whatever we can. Get the inside there. shiny here are our finished coin rings for this live we have the 2020 bat and the 1998 quarter nice well, thank you guys for watching i hope to catch you on the next live and uh, you'll have a great day. Bye-bye.